Welcome to the Golden State Warriors News Today channel. Take the opportunity to leave that like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go to today's news. Golden State Warriors Gary Payton II has opted to secure his $9.1 million player option for the upcoming season, a move that opens doors for the team's strategic planning. Analysts suggest his contract could be pivotal in potential trades, despite the Warriors currently facing salary cap constraints. The Warriors are keen on bolstering their roster ahead of the draft and free agency, aiming to maximize Peyton II's expiring contract value in trade negotiations. While a longer-term deal at a reduced rate would have been preferable, his current contract offers flexibility for significant improvements during the offseason. One potential trade scenario involves a swap between Peyton II and Alex Caruso from the Chicago Bulls. Caruso, known for his defensive prowess and three-point shooting, averaged 10.1 points, 3.8 rebounds, 3.5 assists, 1.7 steals, and solid shooting percentages last season. Acquiring Caruso would likely necessitate including a 2027 first-round draft pick, a move that could impact other potential trade negotiations for the Warriors. However, Caruso's arrival would undoubtedly elevate the team's defensive capabilities and overall competitiveness. Another trade option under consideration is acquiring Dorian Finney-Smith, providing depth at the forward position behind Andrew Wiggins. The proposal includes sending Peyton II, Moses Moody, and a 2029 second-round pick to match Finney-Smith's contract. This trade aims to enhance the team's defensive and shooting capabilities, although uncertainties regarding Peyton's health and Moody's development raise strategic considerations. In a more ambitious move, the Warriors are exploring the acquisition of forward Laurie Markkinen from the Utah Jazz. This trade would involve parting with Peyton II, Jonathan Kaminga, Brandon Ponch, and first-round picks in 2026 and 2028. Markkinen's addition would significantly bolster the team's offensive firepower alongside Stephen Curry and Draymond Green, potentially transforming the Warriors into top contenders in the Western Conference. Each proposed trade scenario reflects the Warriors' commitment to strategic roster enhancements amidst a competitive NBA landscape. These moves are aimed not only at immediate improvements, but also at ensuring sustainable success in the long term. As an NBA enthusiast, the anticipation of how these trades could reshape the Warriors' dynamics and their impact on league competitiveness is truly exciting. The potential addition of players like Caruso, Finney-Smith, or Markkinen could potentially elevate the Warriors back to championship contention, sparking discussions among fans and analysts alike. The evolving nature of NBA trades always ignites passionate debates, highlighting the dynamic nature of team building in professional basketball. The potential trades involving Gary Payton II and players like Alex Caruso, Dorian Finney-Smith, or Laurie Markkinen represent strategic opportunities for the Warriors to address key areas of their roster. Each trade scenario carries its own set of risks and rewards, impacting both the team's immediate competitiveness and its long-term outlook. Acquiring Alex Caruso would provide the Warriors with a proven defensive stalwart and efficient shooter, capable of bolstering their perimeter defense and contributing offensively. His ability to guard multiple positions and hit three-pointers at a high clip makes him a valuable addition to any contender. However, the cost of a future first-round pick could limit other potential roster upgrades, necessitating careful consideration of alternative trade options. The proposal to trade for Dorian Finney-Smith offers a different dynamic, focusing on adding depth and defensive versatility to the forward position. Finney-Smith's experience, along with his consistent three-point shooting and defensive acumen, could provide stability behind Andrew Wiggins. Yet, concerns linger over Gary Payton II's health and Moses Moody's potential development, factors that could impact the overall value of the trade for the Warriors. In contrast, the pursuit of Laurie Markkinen signals a bold move to secure a second star alongside Stephen Curry and Draymond Green. Markkinen's scoring ability and floor spacing would alleviate offensive pressure on Curry while complementing the defensive intensity of Green. However, the hefty price tag of young talents like Jonathan Kaminga, Brandon Ponch, and future draft picks underscores the high stakes involved in this potential deal. For the Warriors, navigating these trade possibilities requires a delicate balance between immediate competitiveness and long-term sustainability. While the addition of a player like Caruso, Finney-Smith, or Markkinen could enhance their chances in the upcoming season, it's crucial to weigh the impact on team chemistry, future draft assets, and salary cap flexibility. As an NBA enthusiast, the speculation surrounding these trades adds an extra layer of excitement to the offseason. Fans and analysts alike eagerly anticipate how each move could reshape the Warriors' roster dynamics and influence their trajectory 
in a highly competitive Western Conference. Ultimately, the decision-making process for the Warriors will be guided by their commitment to assembling a roster capable of contending for championships both now and in the years to come. Whether they opt for a trade that prioritizes immediate impact or one that balances short-term gains with long-term planning, the outcome will undoubtedly shape the future narrative of the team and impact the broader landscape of the NBA. In my opinion, each of these potential trades for the Warriors has their distinct pros and cons. The decision will largely depend on the team's overall strategy, including its immediate goals to compete next season and its long-term goals to build a sustainable and competitive squad. Trade for Alex Caruso would be a significant addition in terms of defense and three-point shooting. Caruso has emerged as a versatile and valuable player, especially in the playoffs. However, giving up a future first-round pick could limit the team's flexibility in future trades and developing young talent. Trade for Dorian Finney-Smith. This trade focuses on adding defensive depth and experience with a player who can contribute immediately. Finney-Smith is known for his consistency and defensive ability, which could be crucial for the Warriors, especially in decisive moments. However, the uncertainties surrounding Peyton II's health and Moody's development potential are factors that must be considered. Trade for Laurie Markkinen would represent a bold move to acquire a second star to go along with Stephen Curry and Draymond Green. Markkinen would bring a new dynamic to the Warriors' offense with his jump shot and floor spacing ability. However, the high price tag in terms of talented youth and future draft picks could compromise the Warriors' ability to build roster depth and flexibility in the long term. These decisions are not just about the immediate impact, but also about how they shape the Warriors' ability to compete consistently for years to come. It is essential that the team evaluates not only the talent of the players involved, but also their fit within the existing system, team chemistry, and future prospects. What do you think of the possible trades involving the Warriors, such as the proposal to acquire Alex Caruso, Dorian Finney-Smith, or Laurie Markkinen? Which of these exchanges do you consider most beneficial for the team in the short and long term? Are they willing to sacrifice draft picks and young talent for an additional star, or would they rather prioritize building roster depth? I'd like to hear your thoughts on how these moves could impact the Warriors' future and their chances next season.